The Japanese government will announce a plan on Tuesday to help evacuees from around the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant. It will have the first official schedule for assisting evacuees. The government is expected to allow them to re-enter the 20-kilometer exclusion zone to get their cars starting later this month. Well, you can't expect things to be normal after the bomb. Difficulties will be experienced throughout the duration of the emergency period. Normality will only be assumed after the sensation of hostilities. Residents from the extended zone will be asked to complete their evacuation by the end of the month. The government will announce measures to help them with employment and their business operations. Take shelter immediately. Repeat, stay indoors. Do not leave your home. It will decide when to lift the evacuation orders once the nuclear reactors have been stabilized. TEPCO hopes to do that within nine months. What does the fallout look like, dear? I don't know. The uh, government directive neglects to mention how the populace could recognize it. The government has drafted a bill to assist TEPCO with the compensation package. The utility has agreed to make provisional payouts while the bill passes it through the diet. Well, it's too late now. We've been out for ages. Oh, blame it was the whole point. I wonder if there's any radiation about. The operator of the Fukushima plant has admitted that the reactor's backup cooling systems failed to function after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami struck. After all, you don't get a nuclear bomb every day of the week, do you? TEPCO revealed the plant's operation records on Monday for the period following the disaster. The emergency backup systems were supposed to cool down the reactors when all external power failed. Yes, the emergency service should arrive today. The one at the number one reactor worked for less than 10 minutes and did not function for three hours. The utility suspects that workers had manually shut down the system as pressure in the reactor dropped so low they were afraid of damage. Another backup system at the number one and two reactors lost power when the tsunami engulfed the batteries. TEPCO is still analyzing the data to assess the impact of the failure on the fuel rods. The operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it believes some of the melted nuclear fuel inside the number one reactor is exposed above water. Mad? Yes, mad. M-A-D. Mutual assured destruction. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the reactor's fuel rods melted and fell to the bottom in the hours after the quake. It says that during this process, holes were created in the pressure vessel and the containment vessel was also damaged. TEPCO says as of 11 a.m. Sunday, the temperature of the reactor's upper part stood at 110.4 degrees Celsius, while that of the lower part was 88.6 degrees. It cites hot vapor from the exposed fuel as a possible reason for the difference. The company also says the temperature of the reactor's upper part fell more than 15 degrees after it increased water injection from 8 to 10 tons per hour on Sunday. It plans to carefully monitor the reactor's temperature. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says it will start transferring highly radioactive water from the number 3 reactor building to a waste processing facility as early as Tuesday. The utility says the water level in the building has been gradually rising. Okay. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, estimates that there is about 22,000 tons of highly radioactive water in the reactor's turbine building and in a connecting tunnel. TEPCO says the water in the basement of the turbine building was about 1.4 meters deep as of Monday morning, a rise of more than 20 centimeters over the past two weeks. The utility says a quick transfer of the water is needed as a portion of it leaked into the sea last week. It aims to move about 4,000 tons of the contaminated water to the nearby waste processing facility after having received approval for the operation from the government. Can you see any fallout falling out, James? No, the sun is trying to get through. They didn't blow up the sun, thank goodness. Oh, no, dear. Science is still in its infancy. 
The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant will announce on Tuesday a revised plan to cool down the reactors one month after the original one. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it needs to pour water into the reactors. It had confirmed earlier that the fuel rods have melted and may have burned holes in the number one reactor pressure vessel. Radioactive water is likely flowing from the containment vessel into the basement. TEPCO says it suspects a similar situation is happening in the number two and three reactors. The firm says it's considering pumping water out of the containment vessels and circulating it back into the reactors after cooling it with heat exchangers. It's also thinking of taking water from the basements of the reactor buildings and putting it back into the reactors after removing the radioactive substances. TEPCO is expected to keep to its original schedule of stabilizing the reactors within six to nine months. Where do you go when they fuck you over and honor and truth have died? There's nothing inside. Oh, the one truly tried I trusted you, you lied I really wouldn't know, sir. I'm just a servant. Yeah. On the other hand, you're screwed. And there's these guys. We took them camping for fun. It's another bullshit experiment. Conversations. I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody.